Let's try to straighten this out. Okay. So, what is up, you guys? It's Funko time over here. And in today's video, we have some Funko Pops that we have received in the mail. And it's been two months since I've actually done my last vlog, you guys. So, my deepest apologies about that. But this whole COVID-19 situation has gotten every company out there slowing down the shipments and there hasn't been a lot of activity out there within the Funko world um, a lot of stores have been opening up so really happy about that um, things have been starting to pick up you guys so I'm really happy um, we have a ton of packages you guys we have a ton of heat I literally just went um, I just came back from a pop swap uh, two days three days ago and yeah y'all I really had a I really had a blast I gotta show you this clip check this out all right guys so we just got done with this funko pop swap and we got a ton of stuff check it out you guys just look how much stuff we we got a win on this right over here this international pop but i'm gonna actually show you more about on it later but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the trunk i gotta show you guys check this out check out all of the stuff that i got I'm gonna go ahead and do a review over at my place and show y'all what did i win over at the pop swap because i won all of the stuff in the raffle y'all so and i was really happy and excited that i was able to go ahead and participate on this event so we're back at my place and this is my haul that i got over at the pop swap let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this and some of these figures i don't collect you guys and i got a ton of t-shirts that i don't fit just because they are different sizes and um probably for different um genders as well but yeah y'all um you be the judge of that there are a lot of ton of high pops over here especially this um evil inuasha pop right over here i don't know if you guys actually um seen these on social media everyone has been going bananas about this and i actually don't watch um inuasha pop um inuasha for that matter you guys this pop looks really clean and detailed hot topic exclusive um and this is the first pop that i actually obtained out of this animation um out of this animation for that matter you guys so i'm happy i was able to go ahead and cop this one right here out of the pop swap pop prize guide value this one is actually going for 65 dollars 60 dollars and on the back of the line or on the back of the box we have inuasha uh kagrom higurashi uh sesh Seshomaru and forgive me you guys because I really can can't pronounce I, I really cannot pronounce at the moment it's been two months since I've actually been vlogging I'm still trying to get a hang of things so please bear with me we also got the Hello Kitty um, gamer GameStop exclusive as well you guys looks really clean and detailed and I do collect um, the Hello Kitty line so yes you guys this one is a GameStop exclusive I was happy I was actually happy I was able to go ahead and negotiate the guy um, lower than what I actually um, really wanted to pay for it. Uh, we also have a Hello Kitty 8-bit Chase and this one I won from the Pop Swap and this one is actually pretty dope. I really like this figure right over here. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here. There are a couple of this these figures, the 45th anniversary Hello Kitty figures that I gotta go ahead and complete but here it is y'all looks really clean and detailed and the back of the line we have the hello kitty classic hello kitty hamburger kawaii burger shop hello kitty uh, sweet treat and 8 bit hello kitty and i believe i need all of those including the new york comic con edition hello kitty funko pops as well you guys um hello kitty sign up come hype y'all so i'm not gonna go ahead and sleep on it um it's been two months but i haven't been sleeping at all so I've been staying steady on it. We also have the Peter Pez out of the Ad Icons Toy Tokyo 2019 Limited Edition. And I actually didn't pay an arm and a leg for it. Thank God. Um, we found the Golden Crisp um, at Target. Um, I'm sorry. Golden Crisp. Uh, Crisp. I can't even. Oh my goodness. I can't even talk right now. Golden Crisp sugar bear target exclusive and we got this one over at the pop swap uh, the box is damaged kind of a bummer on that part right here but there it is that is the box and the guy actually wanted to um kind of wanted a pop value for it so i did buy three so he did kind of cut me a deal so it's kind of it's kind of messed up though how i did get this one damaged and he actually didn't um actually uh didn't go lower on the price for what I really wanted, but there it is, you guys. Um, at icons are actually starting to become harder and harder to uh, collect, so I am actually starting to get on it, you guys. We also have another Target flock 
uh, Bullseye, so I got another one in my possession. I'm really happy about that. We have a Marilyn Monroe um, icon right over here. Number 24, M Marilyn Monroe. Looks really, um, really nice and cool. I really like this Funko Pop, especially the back of the box. Um, this painting right here <laughs> looks really, really flashy. Um, it looks really detailed and fabulous though. I really like that pop. Uh, we have Milton the Toaster Limited Edition number 56 and I didn't actually uh, cop this one when it released over at the Funko Shop. I actually missed out on it but I did get it for a good deal. I was happy to go ahead and cop this one in my collection as well y'all. We also have another Target um, flogged bullseye and this one also has this one's a different color and this one is a San Diego uh, Comic Con uh, debut. The color is actually silver or gold I'm not too sure. I can't really point out the color. Maybe it's just because of the light in the room. But yeah, y'all, it looks like a silver or gold um, color that we have there. We have another flocked Hot Topic exclusive, Smokey the Bear. And yeah, y'all, I have all of them in my possession, including the one with him holding the pail. And yeah, y'all, um, down right over here, we also have a Disney 3... 346 and these are just pops I just don't collect anymore so these are pops I I push off to the side that I don't collect so I'm actually gonna go over it really quick we have Doc, Harley Quinn, Izuku and I don't collect any My Hero Academia so my apologies on that I'm not gonna go over it um Charlie, Kelly, Robin, uh, PX uh, Previews exclusive, Garfield and Garfield looks pretty dope um out of the comics I want him over at the pop swap as well. We have Target exclusive Joker. We have Deadpool right over here as well. Venom Venomized De uh, Daredevil. Uh, Dark Phoenix. Uh, Glow in the Dark Walmart exclusive. We also have Momo. Yayorozu. Ya and I am so sorry. I do not know how to pronounce your name. Uh, Pennywise Meltdown. And I know Pennywise has been a big figure. But... Yeah, y'all, I'm really happy I'm able to go ahead and cop this one right here, even though I don't really collect any of the mo movies, for that matter. We have Molten Man, and this one's a glow in the dark, and I would actually like to actually see his glow, but I'll show you guys that later. We have Sith Jet Trooper right over here out of the Star Wars 318, GameStop, ex uh, GameStop exclusive, um, Montreal Jack Chippendales 465, and um, I know what Chippendales is, and I do not know the cartoon version of it, but... Yeah, y'all, we have a cartoon version. Montreal Jack out of the Chippendales. GameStop exclusive. Let me know what y'all think about that. We have out of the Pop Rocks. Kiss 123 Spaceman. Looks really fabulous with the guitar that we got going on. And the paint with the details on the uh, face paint as well. You guys, looks really fabulous. I really like that Kiss Pop. Let me know if y'all actually collect any of the Pop Rocks. We have one last hype right over here. We have this colonel sanders limited edition and this one comes in the kfc bucket along with a t-shirt and the t-shirt that came inside was the extra extra large so bummer on that part that we don't have any opportunities for these buckets you guys because um especially with the shirts too like the target con shirts they only came in large or extra extra large i don't know about you guys but all of the all of the targets that i went to I, i've been trying to look for some target con shirts that are actually a medium or a small but um the only ones I were that I was able to find were large or extra extra large so that really says something you guys I gotta eat skinny dudes gotta eat we have the game of thrones six inch out of the rise mountain white walker and looks really fabulous I don't collect any of the game of thrones you guys so my deepest apologies I don't but I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this but I really like how this pop is actually displayed on the horse looks really detailed and fabulous I'm gonna go ahead and skip out on that though we have Vegeta we also have the Hulk and I don't collect any of the Marvel so I don't know nothing about the Hulk so I'm gonna go ahead and skip on that we also have the Rick and Morty Walmart exclusive uh, looks pretty dope and detailed let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here this Rick and Morty and looks like he's floating yeah death crystal Rick and Morty floating in the air looks like the omen and right over here is all the shirts we also have more pops right over here um came out of this gamestop box and yeah y'all uh comes in this gamestop box with the sticker it looks really dope and detailed we also have the pez and an enamel pin that you all haven't seen yet and this enamel pin is pretty dope and 
this is something I would actually go ahead and display in my lanyard but let me see if I can focus on that sucker really 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 shabby and detailed I really like this enamel pin and how it shines with the Batman logo with gold you guys so really dope and detailed Just like I said something I would um, display in my in my on my lanyard and take with me over to the comic cons we also have a whole bunch of shirts like I said you guys they they are all different sizes and I don't I, I'm I most likely won't be able to fit any of these for that matter you guys we have what um what shirts do we have we have DC super villains we have Avengers and I might fit the Hulk one because it does come in a small and knowing me I am a small what's her name again uh I have her Funko Pop Dark Phoenix we have a small unisex Dark Phoenix and it's a limited edition 2019 fall convention shirt and pretty dope and detailed unisex y'all so um, this is something I will not wear though and we also have an Alien vs Predator and this one comes in a small as well looks pretty dope and detailed pretty clean shirt what else do we have I do not know what this is but that character looks like the Prince and I'm not too sure what it says, but yeah, y'all looks pretty dope and detailed. Not that much because it's not even open and I'm not even able to show you guys. But we have another Hulk right over here. And this one I believe is an extra large. If I'm not mistaken, but yeah, y'all, I really love some of these t-shirts. And I would not mind actually wearing some of them as well. But if they were my size um it would be a different story because they are not um this one right here colonel sanders and this one came out of the kfc bucket as well and yeah y'all so those are all the t-shirts that i got i got one two got three got four five six t-shirts seven eight t-shirts out of that pop swap you guys so yeah we also have a couple of these other figures I don't collect, like the I Wobble out of the Lion King, Timon, Hot Topic exclusive, and this one does wobble, and it does have the plastic around it, so I won't be able to show you guys. I will probably uh, display this somewhere else, though, but this is such a dope and detailed pop. I really like uh, the Lion King. Um, I don't collect any of the uh, Funko Pop figures. So much nostalgia, you guys, especially if you grew up with the Lion King in the 90s. I don't know maybe it's just the figures itself but I could be wrong I, th I thought I just thought it would come with Pez candy you guys um how I know that is because if I look at look through this one right here and I look at this Batman this Batman GameStop exclusive pop Pez it has a Pez candy in the inside but when you look at these ones right here I, I don't know you guys I could be wrong um, maybe, maybe it, it just doesn't come with it. I don't know. I, I'm, maybe I'm just speculating the worst. We have a whole bunch of extra large t-shirts and we have no Pop Pez candy. What the heck, you guys? <laughs> Alright you guys, so it's been two months since I've, like I said, since I've opened up any packages. I've been just letting them stack up. Um, I got six packages in my possession. I haven't been ordering as much just because a couple of these companies have been going short on staff and have been losing a lot of employees. So I am not trying to risk any money or trying to put any money towards anywhere if I'm not going to be guaranteed my product, especially if it's not going to be coming on time. So I have six packages and couple... I have a couple more coming on the way for that matter you guys um so we are still waiting on more packages um I went over to Think Geek and I picked this sucker up right over here let me show y'all this so y'all are gonna probably laugh at me but yes I got it I got the Vegeta and Cell glass set right over here you guys let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here this one is an exception I do have the Goku and Piccolo uh, glass set. I actually do have it right over here. Now check both of them out, you guys. Look at that, look at that. It like, looks really, really fabulous. And I got four glass sets right over here, you guys. Dragon Ball Z Collectionist Completionist right here. We got them, you guys. So it looks really fabulous. I really enjoy these glasses. I might display them somewhere else. And right over here, this one came from the Funko shop, you guys. So yeah, y'all, this one I've been waiting for for quite some time. And um, I received it in the mail 
obviously a lot of COVID packages you guys so we have a ton of them and hopefully we don't catch any of them and yeah y'all we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it and show y'all what did I get in the mail I think the last one I vlogged about was about the um the Funko shop I just do not remember what um Funko Pop that I ordered so I decided to pull the one out that had the Funko Shop logo and we're gonna go ahead and see what did we get in the mail and like I said y'all we've been letting a couple of these mails oh yeah here's here's the packaging sorry I forgot to show you guys the packaging yes the packaging is good still good and <laughs> been letting it stack for two months you guys so it does come in a box order and oh okay so now I know what it is and we're gonna go ahead and just show y'all and oh check it out we got Fana the Funko Clown y'all looks really clean and detailed let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this now I think I said something about this on my last vlog about the bottle on this Fana Funko Clown not looking like an actual uh, Fana bottle now now that I actually look at it and look at the old um, commercials it actually really does look like the look like a legit bottle but really dope in detail add icon Funko Pop you guys let me know on the comment section down below what y'all think about this on the back of the box it says taste a bottle of fun and it has a Fana bottle right over here and at the bottom of the bottom right corner it says Fana orange tastes so good it has a Funko LLC on the bottom as well. Number 57 out of the Ad Icon Limited Edition. Fan of Funko Clown. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here, you guys. Moving along. So, we have more packages. And I do not know where this one came from. Where did this come from? This one came from GameStop. Okay, so... Now, all of these packages are random. Like I said, I do not know what I'm, what I'm going to be opening up. Um within these boxes so if they're all out of order they're all out of order you guys so my deepest apologies on that so i'm just starting to pick these up back up here and okay it comes in another box order and who did we get we have gohan yes y'all now i ordered this sucker right over here gamestop exclusive 813 we have gohan it looks really clean and detailed you guys let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here i like how it has the dirt on the bottom and he's actually it looks really really dope and detailed you guys um my first uh, exclusive out of the out of the uh eighth wave you guys it looks really dope and detailed i am a completionist and i know there is a special edition um variant for this funko pop as well looks really clean and detailed let me know if you guys actually ordered this gohan funko pop metallic gohan funko pop gamestop exclusive looks really detailed i like how he looks like he's charging at you you guys and the hairstyle as well on this funko pop look teenage gohan looks really fabulous and clean on the back of the line we have 812 hercule 813 gohan and that is a matte original gohan we have 84 14 Vegeta, we have 815 Super Saiyan Kale, we have 816 Super Saiyan Khalifa, and 817 Future Mai. Looks really, really detailed, you guys. Let me know if y'all actually ordered any of any of these uh, Funko Pops, and I'm pretty sure y'all have, especially if you are keeping up with the Dragon Ball Z line, if, and if you are a completionist, collectionist as well. This one looks really dope and ex exceptional, you guys. Um, I really like this Funko Pop. It looks really, really detailed. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here, you guys. Alright you guys, so we got this box here from Plastic Empire and I'm really happy and excited to go ahead and do a view and show y'all what did I get from them and I think I recall, I do remember what I, what I did get over with them and holy cow, I'm really happy I get to actually open them up right now and show y'all. Okay, so this is the packaging from Plastic Empire. Not bad, not bad. It looks like they're just packaging it up in paper. Um, it doesn't seem like it has a protector and so we're gonna open up this paper and show y'all what did I get and check that out. Wow, wow, wow. The LGBTQ Pride Hello Kitty it looks really clean and detailed you guys. Now this box came in damaged you guys. 
not a big fan about that now I am a big box guy when it comes out to it and now Plastic Empire what the heck is going on I mean come on now you guys are selling pops trying to make a name for yourself and you guys gonna send me a damaged pop now this Hello Kitty is an LGBTQ um, Hello Kitty rainbow pop looks really detailed I really love this pop but I am not a big fan of the box. I, I, not like, I'm a really big fan of this box because the, the rainbow all over it looks really, really fabulous. I really love the details on that. On the back of the box, we have a heart that says pride. We also have Hello Kitty on the left side. We also have a quote. It says, our Funko Pop Pride collection is a celebration of exclusively and acceptance Funko fully supports the LGBTQ community plus community and rejects intolerance and discrimination. At Funko, fun is for everyone. A donation has been made to the to the It's Get Gets Better project, an organization that uplifts, empowers, and connects LGBTQ plus youth around the globe in coordination with this program. Hello Kitty. And now that is pretty dope. Now Funko, hey, props to you for donating. But I really think that we should be donating to a bigger cause like World Hunger, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about that. Now this one is coming from Galactic Toys and I've been waiting for this sucker for a while and I know y'all have been too. So I literally received this one in the mail and I really wanted to open it because I know, I know a ton of y'all out there um, actually collect this line now this one ooh wee. I'm so sorry I shouldn't have touched it but it came in like this right over here plastic empire pay attention to the protection that galactic toys presents with a pop especially with the with the Dragon Ball Z pop you know what I mean but I mean maybe if it was Dragon Ball Z it would have been a different story but hey I'm still satisfied with it but still we have the bubble wrap looks really fabulous and clean then we have the galactic toys glow in the dark wheeze and it looks really fabulous you guys so this is just literally like the matte original one but it just glows in the dark you guys so it's kind of a bummer on that part like i said um on the back of the line we have hercule gohan vegeta super saiyan kale uh super saiyan khalifla and future mai 317 out of the Dragon Ball Super line. We have Glow in the Dark Wheeze and it looks really clean and detailed, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below if y'all actually caught this one in your collection, y'all. We got some comments and really excited to go ahead and show y'all what comments I got. Now, this one came out of the company called Chalice Collectibles and I'm not a big fan of them. Um, they they are really they are really great when it comes to promoting uh, Funko Pops, especially when they know something is about to release. But when it comes down to it, um, they're really they're really such a slow shipper. Like uh, as far as uh, uh, common pops being common, uh, you're expecting common pops to actually ship a little bit quicker. But even these common pops took a while for Chalice Collectible to. Um, to uh, get a hold of and ship them to their customers so I probably might not be ordering any more comments out of Chalice Collectibles so this is the packaging it comes in looks really fabulous I really like it so thank god that we actually have a company that knows how to package and uh, we're gonna actually cut through these and oh okay now I know what these are show y'all what they I get in the mail holy moly macaroni okay so we have a ton of uh, <clears throat> of the my hero academia collaboration with Hello Kitty Sanrio pops and these look really really fabulous I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out um, I'm probably not gonna pull them or uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out in order so the first one obviously we all know we have all my Hello Kitty right over here it looks really clean and detailed and I really wish that Hello Kitty Sanrio would have done a collaboration with Pokemon or with uh, Dragon Ball Z just because Hello Kitty would I believe is more like a 90s thing y'all it looks really dope and detailed I really like this Funko Pop though 
um really really dope animation that we got going on right over here like i said i only got it just because it is um part of the hello kitty line and if you haven't noticed it says animation right there so we do have it for an animation line really dope about that all right you guys so we have tuxedo sam this one's really dope and detailed and looks really freaking clean i really like the outfit that we got on tuxedo sam let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here and i really like how chalice um gave all of these pops pop protectors like all of them the chalice protector so really really um really really stands out and um i'm really happy and satisfied about this pop especially the tuxedo sam it really looks fabulous all right guys so we pulled out karopi tietsu and looks really clean and detailed um 796 uh karopi looks really detailed especially with this outfit that we got going on it looks like He's using uh, one of these out those outfits uh, that those uh, bag bag uh, bag pipe players play. Um, really detailed and dope. Um, I really like the outfit, especially how um, Karopi. If you haven't noticed, if you haven't had the first, if you don't have the first uh, gen of the Sanrio line, Karopi actually has a lot of adjustments made to the mold and the sculpture of. Uh, of the pop yeah also it looks really detailed more detailed than the original um og funko pop and and i really like that about funko how they start making more transitions and they and they start adding more colors with their pop making them look more detailed and letting them stand out more and funko i really respect that about you and i really hope that that continues and adds more value into these pops because i'm really enjoying these pops um 7.92 that we pulled out right over here we have Pancho, wait, Panchacho Deku, and I really can't pronounce that, y'all. Like I said, please forgive me. 792 out of the My Hero Academia collaboration line. We have Pancho Chacho, or pa, wait, Po Chacho, <laughs> Pochaco Deku. Okay, please forgive me about that, y'all. So we have Pochaco Deku out of the My Hero Academia collaboration line. Looks really detailed, and I really like the outfit that he's using as well. Um, this figure actually looks like um, looks like out of the peanuts, but I I, I don't want to say that. But Pocha Pochako Deku looks really fabulous, and this is something that you won't see out of the first Sanrio generation line that came out. And it looks like something that you would see out of peanuts, but I do not want to you know compare and contrast um, the peanuts with My Hero Academia collaboration with uh, Sanrio because I know some of y'all will be offended but it looks really clean and detailed let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about that we also have the My Hero Academia My Melody Ochacho looks really clean and detailed 794 My Melody and this My Melody character as well was also part of the first generation um, Sanrio line as well and I'm really happy to see it part of the My Hero Academia collaboration with the Sanrio line y'all looks really fabulous I really like the outfit as well um, looks like it looks like she has winter outfits on but let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here last but not least we have bad it's maru as bakugo and really fabulous with the when it comes out to the outfit and i am not surprised that this pop right over here especially this character out of the sanrio line was in the first gen so for for this pop actually being part of the my hero academia collaboration is Kind of a sh not not so much of a shocker bad it's maru was kind of like that hidden that hidden um sanrio character bad it's maru just has that that thuggish look like yep i i know what i'm talking like that thuggish like go getter look you know what i mean so i i like that about bad it's maru and i really like how um funko like, like just check out the eyes y'all the eyes on this bad it's my roof says, says it all and if you actually look at the first gen sanrio pop as well they literally have the same eye um the eye formation as well y'all so you, that that just shows a lot about the expression on um, bad it's maru one of my favorite uh characters out of the sanrio line you guys so we have another box with a ton of pops that came from chalice collectibles that i forgot to do a review for you guys chalice is a slow Chalice, Chalice is honestly really a slow company. 
uh, when it comes out to shipping and uh, I, th I think this is another reason why I waited um, a little bit two months extra than, you know what I mean so anyways y'all we have the collection that we got going on right over here it came with the bubble wrap so I'm really happy about that respect to Chalice though they do know how to send pops like unlike Plastic Empire or like uh, other companies you know what I mean uh, they they would not know how to um, they would not know how to protect the pops the integrity of the pops uh, so like I said um, comments I probably will not uh, be uh, I probably will not be ordering from Chalice again uh, I, I most likely will be ordering the exclusives out of Chalice uh, but the comments I, I would most most likely would be safer to go get, go ahead and get them in stores Just because probably it's more fun. You know what I mean? If, if you're able to find a pop especially in store it, it that just brings up the hype even more. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not in a hurry to collect them all uh, Literally y'all uh, so pretty dope setup that we got over here respect to chalice for for the pops now this is the protection it came in though now we have the whole pokemon line right over here y'all so now who do we get first we got cubone you guys now this cubone pop looks really fabulous y'all let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this cubone funko pop that we got going on over here you guys 596 looks really clean and detailed and on the back of the line we have pichu volpix mewtwo mr mine ratata uh, Q-Bone, Growlithe, and Pikachu. Another Pikachu, y'all. And I think I see that another Pikachu right over here, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that one out right now. 598. We got Pikachu, you guys. Looks really clean and detailed. Let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about this one right over here. Looks really fabulous. And this Pikachu looks angry. Like, I really like that about this one. A different mold. Same pop. Diff same character but uh, different sculptures. So I really like that about uh, Funko now. They're starting to uh, change it up a bit. And I really hope though that um, they start making more um, uh, more different characters with the Pokemon line. And I know uh, they just released uh, released a link with Jolteon, um, Jolteon, Vaporeon, a Flareon, and the Eevee Evolution. So it's really, really fabulous to actually go ahead and see uh, more of these pops come out and release so I'm really happy and excited about that anyways y'all we're gonna go ahead and keep moving on we have another pop that we got from Chalice we have 597 we got the common Growlithe looks really clean and detailed you guys let me know in the comment section down below if y'all actually caught this one as well or if y'all are just collecting them like separately y'all because I don't know if anyone's gonna ever catch them all or get them all for that matter because if Funko's idea is to just take every Pokemon and literally flock them like how they're doing with Mewtwo and like it literally makes no sense like Mr. Mind they could have made they could have made Mr. Mind a metallic I don't know you guys let me know in the comment section down below what y'all think about that I really think they should have made Mr. Mind a metallic but last but not least we have Rattata we have Rattata and it looks really ready and looks really detailed y'all i really like this pokemon um i'm glad i didn't sleep on this one right over here or any of the four comments of uh the pokemon that just came out for chalice collectibles for that matter you guys i still got a couple more to go um especially for the new ones coming out so i'm not gonna go ahead and sleep on that you guys anyways you guys there you go i really hope you guys enjoy that vlog it's such a long vlog a lot of editing to do and yeah y'all so Please, please, please like this video, subscribe, and I promise you more and more and more content's gonna come out. Everything's just been picking back up now, and like everything is picking back up, I'm going to start pushing more and more content for you guys. So if y'all enjoyed today's vlog, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be receiving more of my content, you guys. Anyways, you guys, take care.